Turbo 308 DHP Active Bookings Open. RM 121K established. The order books for the new Turbo 308 DHP Active are now open after the C segment hatchback was previewed in showrooms not too long ago. The 308 Active still carries an estimated price tag of Reem 12888 and enters the model range just below the standard 308 THP. Being more affordable than the original Soul variant that was introduced back in August 2015, the 308 Active relinquishes a few features and equipment to reflect its price tag. Starting with what is retained, the 308 Active's powertrain setup still consists of a 1.6-liter four-cylinder twin scroll turbocharged engine paired to an ASIN sourced at 6.6 speed toward converter automatic transmission with quick shift. The petrol mill still outputs 150 HP at 5,000 rpm and 240 Nm from 1,450 rpm. As for the list of changes, the exterior of the 308 Active now sees the use of halogen reflector headlights instead of full LED ones. They still retain their automatic on slash off and auto leveling function. The bumper has also been modified to accommodate the repositioned LED daytime running lights and fog lamps, with the front parking sensors being omitted. The 308 Active now comes with smaller 17-inch Rubis alloy wheels this time round, instead of the larger 18-inch Sapphire wheels on the current model. The changes affecting the wheels extends to the spare in the boot as well, which is now a full-size steel one instead of a full-size alloy spare. The chrome window lining has also been removed here. Other exterior changes on the 308 Active include the absence of a keyless entry system with push start as evident by the keyholes near the door handles. At the rear, the reverse camera has also been removed, but the reverse sensors are still retained. Inside, the Peugeot i cockpit is still present, albeit with a few changes. The trip computer display screen is now of the monochrome variety compared to the full color one used in the current model. Jealousware the Alcantara Sport seats are now Reupco less steered as fabric ones instead. The driver side seats now lose their electric massage and lumbar function as well. Both front seats are still manually adjustable as before. Looking up, the panoramic roof has been removed as well.